Well, hello, everyone, and welcome to our weekly wrap up for Friday, November 17th, 2023. A lot to cover, and I'll do the best I can to be succinct as always. Uh, we've had a lot of shows this week. It's been very busy. Uh, I'd like to say a special thanks to my uh, mentor, Don Ward, not Charlie Ward, on uh, Tuesday for the interview that he did cogently. I, I pray that it blessed many of you. It seems from the comments that it did. I'm glad to hear that. And I will issue a comment on that video towards the end of this process. Uh, we just recorded the video last night after some technical difficulties on Wednesday. We recorded last night with Rod Steele. That's being edited as we speak. And it should be up within about an hour to an hour and a half on our Telegram and all the other channels. So hopefully you'll get to enjoy what Rod shares on his musings about the reset. Uh, today, we've got some exciting interviews uh, with a gentleman named Scott Thomas, who is a, a colleague of Don Ward. He's a Christian financial advisor. And while I do not subscribe to financial advisors, uh, he has come out of the old system and through the reset has understood just how beneficial this process is. And he's tailoring his approach to a lot of uh, Christians now and uh, truthers and patriots who want to get involved in stewardship and blessings, humanitarian projects, the whole nine yards, how to give you specific strategies and planning that you can use uh, that will benefit you for free uh, to help uh, all of humanity across the board. And a really, really smart guy. He's been in the business for over 35 years. So I think you'll, you'll like what he has to say. Uh, also going to be, many of you asked about Chris, who is he? And Chris is our chief administrator, marketeer, this was his original channel, and he and I are now co-sharing it together. So he's going to come from behind the scenes to kind of give you an introduction today of who he is and his function. Um, and he is uh, good mates with our, our fellow friend, Truther Nick Benny Amin, who I'll talk about in a minute. And so he, he's been instrumental in putting a lot of the things together that you've enjoyed. We're also going to be doing every couple of weeks with him a Q&A session, because obviously we can't answer every single question as they come out with the frenetic schedules that we all have. So every two weeks, we'll compile all the most commonly asked questions and any extraneous ones that come out, we'll address those. So none of you feel like you're ignored. Just be patient with us. We are getting to it. Um, Monday, very exciting day. Uh, Nick Van Amen, once a month, I'm going to be doing a presentation. And in that, I will be covering the OFAC list. Some of you asked about that. No, we did not forget to include it. What you do not understand is that it's a very large PDF file, and that cannot just be dropped in the description. It's too large to hold it. So what we're going to do is in a presentation, I'm going to drop several excerpts of that list so that you guys can see what it entails. So you can understand the gravity and scope of what's in there. This is quite a bit of information. There's 1900 pages in there. So I just wanted to get that set off the table right off the bat. So we'll be including that. It's a very good presentation. You might want to take some notes. Uh, it goes back to what we talked about on Tuesday with the January 1st timeline that we were given. Uh, for things to happen for the remainder of this year. We're going to get breakouts about what we see up the road ahead. I'm also going to be interviewing the great Brent Johnson, who is going to be talking about the reset. But a lot of you have talked about trusts and what trust to get and whether you should get a trust. He's going to address all those things and what trust he recommends and why. And we're working with him directly in my team. So if that gives you any solace, I would never ask you to look at something I'm not doing myself. So I just want to put that out there. Uh, so now let's get to the news. Uh, thank you for being patient. Uh, not a whole lot of news per se, but there are some key things here. More de-dollarization is occurring throughout the world. BRICS is planning their largest event next year in Kazan. It's probably going to be several, uh, I would say 100 to 150 nations represented there, give or take, because they have to pass through the BRICS vetting process this year and the remainder of the early part of next year. Uh, Iraq is continuing to further decline because as of January 1st, they are going to be completely de-dollarized. Uh, Citibank is planning, as you noticed, I put in the Telegram channel, massive layoffs, uh, the most they've had in the last 20 plus years. And that's continuing across the board with, uh, you know, many other big corporations. Hunter Biden is going to be, uh, his, his first deposition trial is on testification, testifying on December 4th. So there's a lot kind of popping off on all different directions. Uh, so that that wraps it up. If, you, uh, if we have any other updates or anything pressing, I will definitely get it out to you before next week. Otherwise, look forward to the interviews today and on Monday, and I'll be back on Tuesday for a weekly update uh, before Thanksgiving. Have a great weekend. God bless, and I'll see you soon.